This is tuna on toast. And then after that, a crow left of the murder comes out and yep. does amazing. Light grenades after that, which debuts at number one. You guys are just rolling like crazy. Are you having fun at that time? Do you recall? Like, holy crap, this is actually really fun. I mean, there, there, it was really fun. Um, I would say around the light grenades era is when, like, we, I think we were getting to an age where, at least for me, like, I was starting to kind of feel like, am I just going to keep doing this over and over and over? It was fun and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed the process of making music. But I think that's when I started to question um, for me personally, like, is this, am I just going to do this for the rest of my life? Because it was, we had built up so much success and, um, you know, there was like any time that happens, you know, naturally sort of, there are a lot of other people that are connected to you who are reliant on that success. And so I started to feel, I think a little bit during that time, like, is this what I want to do in this manner? Like it's this huge thing where like we focus all this time and energy and we like make this album and then it comes out and then we tour behind it for years and like, we're never at home. I'm not complaining about it right. in any way, but there yeah, are certain yeah, yeah. aspects of it that over a long period of time started like wondering like, okay, what's my life going to be like in the much longer term. And shortly after that was like, you know, when I went to college and all that, you know, so I started really just thinking about my future um, from just a pure sort of like happiness perspective. It's only been until maybe the last year or two with what you just said, I've been able to appreciate when artists talk about that because no one ever, it's clear that everyone appreciates the success and is like, Oh my God, what a life we're living. But to hear you say, wow, all these people are depending on us. We are in this cycle of going, going, going with these guys. We do this, we do this, do this. We run around. Now I'm getting exhausted. We've got to talk to the radio station in Nebraska. And then we got to talk to idiot striker in LA. And then we got to go <laughs> play this show here. And it's like, is it, do you think it's at all similar to an actor who's on a sitcom or a scripted show for eight, nine, 10 years? And then they're like, there's some, there's another world out there. That's exactly right. You know, it's like any world that you exist in for a long period of time, decades, you know, there's a repetitive aspect of it that it doesn't matter how romantic it sounds to the outside world. It just becomes repetitive at a certain point. And that has nothing to do with, you know, I've, I've always been appreciative of the success and the opportunity, but sure. at the same time, I've always considered myself sort of a lifetime, you know, band member. Like it's something that I'll do for as long as I can in my whole life. But in order for me to be able to do that, I also have to be able to, to um, feel fulfilled in other ways. Yes, and I think that I that's, that. I get that. Yeah. I think that's something that the whole band really like understands at this point. Hope you enjoyed. Now hit that subscribe button. And for more Tuna on Toast, listen wherever you get your podcasts.